Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey fly tying video production. Here I'll be sharing my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for you guys around the world and also making tying these flies easier so with my different styles and techniques and easy easy peasy setups. All the flies that I tie I personally use and they all catch fish, not just the angler. And at the end of each of the videos will be a wee list of materials required to tie the patterns. Uh, just in case you missed it in the video. And also a link to my online shop where you can purchase the flies and the materials required to make these killer patterns. I hope you all enjoy the videos and that you'll pass the word on to your other fellow fishing pals. Get them to come and have a look at the channel, get them to subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, hit the bell so you get notifications when I do new videos. So today I'm going to be doing a, a bit of a, an easy peasy salt water fly. It really is and it's caught me a lot of bass and sea trout. Uh, Paul Coley's, uh, it, it's just an all-rounder and it works and it's just a little sand eel type imitation so what you're going to need for this is I'm tying it on an O'Shaughnessy it's a 1-0 uh, there's various different makes out there you can get uh, mustard ones are quite good quality I can't actually remember where I got these ones but they are good hooks uh, it's a one it's quite a big hook, but I like the shape of it anyway for this fly. We're then going to use uh, some Pearl Mylar braid, right? So this this is the, I would say this is quite a smallish size one, maybe small to medium. We're using about three inches of that, right? So you can see it, it sits quite well just now. I've already put it on the hook. So all I've done is fed it, fed it through and, and, and made sure it's about there. So it's given me tight space to work at the front and a bit of space at the back. And I'm going to show you what, what you can do here as well. You don't have to do anything here, but I'm going to show you how to make it a bit stronger. Right, it's wanting to move about just now. You are going to need some white thread, strong thread. You can use UTC 140, fluorescent white or normal white. Uh, or you can use a Dyneema, which I've been using as well, which is quite good. You're going to need my floss. It says that's the floss that I use for a lot of my nymphs, but I use it for these flies as well. We're going to need some lead wire. So, I'm using the Venryard stuff. It's quite fine. Now, I'm tying these flies, one with lead wire, one without lead wire. So the lead wire one's going to dive a wee bit and give a bit more action. The other one's just straight. Because you'd be fishing this on a sinking line anyway. So, the other thing you're going to need is some razor flash. I'm just using pearl, silver and pearl, which is a good salt water colour, to be quite honest. And then the last thing, well, two more things, you're going to need some some kind of hair. Now, you could use a synthetic hair or whatever. I like to use goat. So, I've got different colours of goat. So, I've got, that's fire orange. I've got some golden olive. One of my favourite ones is pink, right? looks like a wig uh, and also blue okay I do have some of the goat on my website but it's getting harder and harder to get the bigger stuff so you know it'll be a limited stock on what I have and the last thing you want to do is put some eyes on the fly as well so there's different eyes out there uh, there's these Cybia ones they're quite small but we're, that's, I'm going to use them on this pattern nice pink ones they're flat ones uh, You've got gold holographics, you've got some silver holographics, you know, you've got different different eyes out there. Really up to yourself which ones you want to use, to be quite honest. And we also need some UV resin. So, I'm using the bet for stuff, this is nearly used, I've used it for quite a lot of salmon, eh, pike flies, salmon flies, pike flies and, and various other things. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull that back a wee bit and we're going to start off with the floss. Right, now... I know that I'm saying this is for salt water, but you know it'll work for pike, perch and that as well. Any predator species. So let's go back and I'm just pulling that out of the way, right? So we're just going back with the orange floss. Doesn't have to be orange, you can choose another colour if you want. I'm using orange, I like to use red as well. Okay. And remember orange is a trigger point for a lot of fish, including salt water fish. I've went too far back there forward so I want to go back a bit right because I need to leave space because I want to put obviously a lead lead wire on now I'm not running it at full length of the shank because I want it at the front so it's going to dive give me a bit of action it's not going to give me tons of action it's not going to make it fly really really heavy but it will be fine it'll give it that just that little bit 
difference. The thing with tying these flies is for this particular video what I want to do I'm going to tie eight, eight different colours four, four, four colours uh, I'm going to do four with lead and four without lead and they'll all have different eyes on them as well uh, and I'm going to put them up as a prize and I'm, I'll, I'll put the question at the end obviously because I'll need to put it on Facebook as well uh, and give people a chance to, to a wee competition sort of thing alright so you can see that there you can see it through it you could build it up more so this, this braid doesn't move that much but I'm quite happy with that and you can see the natural shape so I'm just going to catch it in with the orange floss and cut, tie it down right don't worry too much about tidying things up just now because we'll, we'll sort that out later right we're going to come back a bit because obviously we've got a few other things to build up in there okay so I'm going to tie that off right now because obviously it says I've caught a lot of bass on, on these flies uh, problem is see if you don't do anything with this end what then happens is the bass catch it and they pull it and it gets worse and worse and you end up with just a big pile of pearl floating at the back and it wraps around the hook shank and you're constantly untangling it etc etc so what I'm going to do here is take it out of the vise right, and I'm going to get my, my UTC 140 and I'm just going to, I'm hoping the video will show it I'm going to catch it in right so it's about that far away for the end and you can pull it tight and then what you want to do is just simply spin it spin the bobbin right and then spin it again right so that's it spun and it's caught in quite tight so that's quite good so that finishes it off now obviously you've got a problem I try to use a whip finish tool with that so I use my fingers I can do both right so just do a couple of bit finishes pull it tight ok so that's it nice and tight so then we're just going to trim that off ok move that thread to the side right, we can put that back in the vise now take off that other bit and then what I'll do is I'll varnish it don't worry about the fluffy bits at the end I've got another one that I prepared earlier so turn that round ok then we'll move that one to one side and we'll bring the other one in that I've already done so we'll swap that over and put that one in right as you can see I've already done that one it's got the lead, it's got the tail done I'm happy with that so at this point I'm going to still use the orange floss so we'll get that in there and catch it in ok and then we'll catch it in again we're building up a little bit of a lump on it so we want to get the pearl silver and pearl flash you don't want don't need too much yet because we're going to double it right so we've got the flash cut it there so what I want to do is tease it out so it's all at different different lengths right and then just measure it up so it's getting close to the, the end right so we'll then catch that in we'll go back to here to where we done the floss originally then we'll come forward again and then we'll stop then we're going to pull that bit back over and just catch that in as well taking care not to go too far back right so we'll go forward again and we'll just do that bit uh, ok and we'll finish now at this point what I would do is I'm just going to slightly dampen that wing because I want the wing to sit properly right and I'm just going to use a bit of resin keep it in place right so I'll get my torch ready so obviously that's the torch I use uh, you can see it better with this lens so it's quite a big thing look at the size of it right 
but it's not bulky so I'm just going to put a spot in and then just cover it up right and that'll hold that wing in place you use super glue but this is faster that'll be enough take that away ok I'm happy with that and I say it's a, it's a really easy it's easy to tie but you do spend a bit of time you know grooming it and, and getting it in the right shape and messing about with the, the eyes and stuff so we're now using the UTC 140 and we'll just put that in in place and we're going to stay in front of the orange with the 140 now we want to get our, our goat hair for this one I'm using the fire orange right so we want a bit of goat hair don't want too much you don't want to fly being overburdened with too much going on so I'll trim it as long as I can get it just now until I've got it where I want it right I'm getting it, I'm starting to get that shape so now I know where I need to trim it right so we need to take it here cut it so we now know that's the length we want and we want it to sit like that so we just push it down right push it down and then just catch it in and it sits sits pretty good to be quite honest if you're not happy with it all then just obviously tidy it up a bit and then all you want to do is just keep going and building a wee head so that's the next part so once you've got the wee head built up and we just keep going and it's basically finished the, the rest of the fly is just going to be tidying up putting the eyes on and epoxying it really well not epoxy obviously UV resin so that's big enough so I'll just let finish that right then I'll put another wee bit finish in and we'll just trim that as I said I'm going to use the side bear eyes on this one they are quite small but you know, a lot of the sea trout patterns have got quite small eyes, but these are 3D uh, holographic eyes. So I just stick that one on there. So that's why I've got one on one side, and then we'll turn that so we can get the other one on the other side. And you could glue them in place, but with the sticky eyes and with the obviously we're going to use the 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 resin that's all we need so resin in one hand lamp in the other hand so first of all we want to get a nice wee spread just on the end of the wing just spreading down to touch the eyes and just catch that in so that that will put the that will set the eyes in place so the eyes will stick then we can obviously build up a nice head on it after that less is better so do a wee bit at a time, don't just jump right in there and, and put loads of it on. Right, so we're going to put another wee bit on and make sure the lamp doesn't come on. We'll whack that again. And that, that should go quite nice. It says I fish these on like, like slime lines, die threes, and I've had bass chasing them through the waves and everything. It's been brilliant. Uh, I've had sea trout on them. I've not caught tons of sea trout on them, but I've caught sea trout on them. But Pollock and Coley's love love these things. They absolutely love them, right? So that's that one done. And you can see a difference in the colour once the UV lamps off of it again, right? So I'm just making sure. You've got to watch because this because this is a thin one, it can come out quite quickly, and you don't want it going everywhere. You want to control the amount you're putting on at a time. Okay, I'm trying to show you different angles with the colour and just make sure you keep your bottle of UV resin away from the torch because obviously if you don't you're uh, kind of struggle because you'll end up 
sealing the, the bottle or resin up. Right, so that's that bit done. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to put another wee bit just on there and push it round with the top of the nozzle rather than the bottom because if you use the bottom it will keep coming out. That says I'm going to do a wee competition. It doesn't matter where you stay in the world, you can enter the competition uh, and if you if you win it, I'll be sending you eight of these flies. Right. So we've now done the top, right? So it's now time to do the bottom. So I'm going to adjust it so the flies sit more flat. And then we're going to do the bottom half. Right. Same again, bit at a time. Don't put too much in. I love these lamps. I mean, see if I'm doing nymphs and stuff, it's just brilliant because you can just crack, crack a dozen nymphs in and away they go. And everything works fine. Right. So then we go with the next bit. That's just got a nice round bulbous head on it. Now I'm going to be over cautious with it and I'm going to put some resin round the eyes as well. And you're probably a lot of people are going to go, oh why are you doing this, why are you doing that? But I'm going to put clear varnish over the top of it all. Because what I've found with the resins, they can go dull, doesn't matter what resin it is. So I like to actually put a wee coat of clear varnish over the top. So, oh that's upside down. Get the vice the right way. The good thing about these Dyna King vices is they've got grooves in them. And the grooves allow you to put these big hooks in without having to adjust them. Right, so I'm just going to put a bit round that eye. And I also want to put a bit just underneath there. Right, so put a bit over the eye. Then we'll just resin that, we'll UV it, or whatever you want to call it. My favourite colour is pink and orange, to be honest. The, the olive green ones work well as well. But you think blue would be the best, but for some reason the pink seems to be the best. The orange setting best. You could probably get away with using some kind of synthetic hair rather than goat hair, but I, I just like the goat hair, to be honest. Right. And I should be doing the last bit. So when I'm doing the eye, I'm just kind of breezing over it. And then that should be me. You can see that floss there. It gets quite bright, to be honest. And that's the 4mm uh, hollow red eyes that I used. That says I've got some flies tied with bigger eyes. Uh, you can use bigger ones, you can use smaller ones. I mean, you can actually see the translucency through that head that I've built up. Right, that, that's it. There's nothing more to it. That will catch you pollock, coal fish, uh, sea trout, bass. It's just a cracking fly, and I says it will work for pike as well. I mean, I can't see how a pike or a perch wouldn't eat that either. You know, it is a good fly. The last thing I've got to do is obviously just just put a coat and a clear varnish over it. So. I always think the clear, some people say it's pointless, but it brings the shine out, if that makes sense. So I just put a coat and a clear varnish over it, and that's it. Now, competition is going to be, I will put it on Facebook and Instagram for anybody, but you must post on YouTube. So, all I want is, is somebody to basically give me a name for the fly. Tell me tell me what, what the fly should be called. You tell me what it should be called. I'll run the competition for a couple of weeks, or a week or so. Uh, and then obviously I'll pick the winner. Uh, so if you want to make a comment, give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think it should be called. 
and also if you want to stick a wee comment in on what you think I could maybe do better uh, on my videos because I'm always trying to improve so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you are out fishing and staying safe with this virus nonsense that's still kicking about uh, you can follow me on Facebook David C Downey you can follow me on Instagram Dave Downey Fly Fishing check out the guiding site which is www.davedowneyfishing.com and get your mates to have a wee look so thanks for watching another Dave Downey Fly Time video production have a great day and have some great days fishing and also don't forget about the competition uh, cheers for now speak to you guys later bye for now